What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another Road to Ryan video. Today, people, today we're going to be going for our fourth and final gold rocket launcher. We have the Joker. That's it. The Joker. It's just like all the rest. Once you get it to level 11, you need 40 kills for this lackluster normal camo, the Azure Fray. After that, it's just two kills 10 times without dying. And today, they put shipment 24-7 back in the game. So, it'd be yesterday now, by the time this is uploaded. But, shipment 24-7 is back in the game. Which means, we can do this very, very easily. Very easily. I think this might only take one game, if we don't get a terrible game mode for this. But, I digress. This is the build we're running. Uh... I guess I can show you what I have on it. I have the Boeing Blossom from the event. I finished my event camos. So this is what the Winds of Ash looks like just for the launchers itself. But the Boeing Blossom is what we're running on it. I'll get this thing in game. Here we are going into the game. As you all can see here, I have the gold ride shield on. That's because we only get two maximum shots with the Joker. And when we have our munition box, it'll only give us one shot back. So we're going to do a shot there. And we're going to do a shot there. If you didn't know, spamming the thermal actually makes it shoot faster. And we're just going to use our... Alright. Alright, that wasn't fair. But we're going to get some gold riot shield kills on our road to Orion Mastery while we're doing this. There's a triple kill, so that's at least one progress. There's another kill, so that's two progress. I could also punch with this thing, but... This is just easier. That's my Joker. Oh, picking up my Joker gave me two more ammo. That's nice to know. There's a kill. And... There's our second. One. Oh, I couldn't protect myself. Well, there's a double kill. Oh, a triple kill. As you can see, it has a quite a wide arc, so make sure there's nothing in front of you when you shoot this thing. The explosion will kill you. No matter how far away it is. If, it, if something happens to it on its way up, it will get you. I was going to punch him. Nope. This is a good spot right here. This is right where we want to be. See, double kill. There's a double kill. And there's the challenge. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Honestly, 
probably the second easiest launcher when shipment 24 7s in the game. The first easiest probably being the RPG. And this video goes so fast. I'll show you what the other camos look like in a private match as well. But I'll see you there. Okay, here we are with the gold joker, and this is a chunky boy. That's the extent of the inspect. It's all you can do to muster is go pull this thing up, pop it back on your shoulder. That's that's about all I could do with this thing. If that this thing is huge, it's massive. It's by far the best we'll get to look at any camo in this game in our own hands. Uh, ADSing, you get the nice gold border around it. Uh, I mean, here's what it looks like reloading, I guess, if I can find a clean spot to shoot this thing. Nothing much at all. The entirety of the reload is off screen. It's... I think it, it it wears the camos very well. You get a nice clean look at everything. And I but I don't think it's bad. I think this is a good launcher. A lot of people don't understand how to use it. They don't understand if something is in front of you and the rocket shoots up and it hits it, it will kill you. It's it's literally Oh, it's a it's the same thing as a, any other lock-on rocket launcher. It just shoots up instead of straight. It takes a long time for things to hit. And that's... Some people just don't wrap their head around it, you know? I, for one, I like it. It's fun. In Warzone 1, I had a lot of fun with the Joker because people did not expect... They would see the lock-on and they wouldn't get out of their vehicle. They just think it missed for some reason or their flares worked in their helicopter. The Joker shoots way up in the air, comes back down. Dude, season 2 of Warzone 1, if you're carrying this thing, it was fun. Not many people did it, but it was fun. Here's the camera you got for doing the Joker challenge in this event. Uh, what the event challenges are, is it's just a buffed up version of the polyatomic challenge. So for all the bullet weapons, it's just headshots, because that's what you do for polyatomic. It, it, you just have to do a lot of whatever the poly challenge is. This is what it looks like on the Joker itself. Um, you know, it's nothing too special on this gun. I think it's a little distorted. Uh, if you're if you're looking on the barrel itself here, it kind of looks grainy and not so good. But the next camo, the next camo is the money shot right there. Now here is the mastery camo that you get with the event. Yes, I'm calling this a mastery camo because it is a camo you unlock for doing a camo challenge for every other class. It it follows the description of a mastery camo. And this thing is gorgeous. I love the gold border around the twigs and leaves. The blue is really, really good. If, if it wasn't for the gold challenge, platinum challenge, uh, polyatomic challenge and Orion challenge for getting kills with that camo. I would run this a lot. I really would use it a lot. I think it's a great camo and it looks really good on this gun at least. I haven't used it on very many because I just unlocked it not too long ago. But on the Joker, it's fantastic. Here's one final look at the gold Joker camo and it is again fantastic. I think this thing is great. Just seeing that whole shiny, glossed over front view here where the screen is, is, I think it looks fantastic. And with all that being said, if you like what you saw here, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know if you're going for the Orion Ultra Mastery. That's the one where you have to get a thousand kills with every weapon once you get gold unlocked. I'm going for it. If you're not going for it, feel free to skip the rocket launchers. There's enough DLC weapons so you can get Orion without touching a single rocket launcher. Fun fact. Down in the description, you'll find links to Twitter, Instagram, and Discord, all places you can keep up with me and what's going on with the game right now. Also, on screen right now, you'll find our group, Sharpshooters. Feel free to join, and you can have up to five. Might as well make Sharpshooters one of them. We are active every day. Find someone to play with, do a raid, do MP, camo grinding, ranked, Warzone, DMZ, something. Somebody's going to be online. Find someone to play with. One final look at the camo, and I'll see you guys next time.